Pink and Irrelevant on BBC Radio Newcastle. It's Kelly Scott here in for Jilly. Thank you so much for joining me. Now, something very exciting is returning to the Tyne tomorrow, and that is Dragon Boat Racing. Now, anyone has teamed up with the organisers, Atlantic Dream and the North East Chinese Association to bring the spectacular racing event back to the river and give people the chance to take part either individually or as part of their own team of up to 16 paddlers, plus a drummer as well. So you can challenge your friends and families or workmates to take part in the race of a lifetime rowing a dragon boat on the Tyne. Um, so just so you know, before we get talking about this, places are still available, so that's going to make you even more excited, I'm sure. Now, to tell us more about it is Tarek Alverson, Head of Operations at Anyone Limited. Hello there. Thank you so much for joining me. Hello there. Thanks very much for having me. And now, what is the dragon boat race? If, like me, you know, people haven't seen it before, what should they expect? Uh, so Dragon Boat Race, it's a, well, it'll be a fun day out for everyone to come and enjoy, but uh, we have, so Dragon Boats are, I guess, uh, canoes, colourful canoes, that Dragon Boat, uh, Dragon Heads is, is, the, is at the front of the boat, and it'll be pe people racing on the River Tyne, so um, on our wonderful quayside. So so it's um, something completely different for people to do, it's, it's happening tomorrow, it's, and yeah, there's lots of activities happening as part of the event as well. Oh, it sounds amazing. If people are going down, where do they need to head to so they can probably watch it? So so it will be happening between the Tyne Bridge and Gates and Laddie Bridge. So if you head down to Newcastle Quayside, um, the um, event space is opposite the law courts. It's a place called Wesley Square where there'll be lots of uh, fun, free activities for people to take part in. Um, and that's where the race will take part too. So they're all very exciting stuff. Now, just double check in. I believe places were still available. Are they now? Can people still get involved? So we we're not expecting. Um, I mean, people can get involved. If people want to come along tomorrow, by all means, if their space is available, then absolutely, would love uh, to have them involved. But um, what I will say is that if there is no space available, there is plenty of other things to be doing down there. Uh, we have things like arts and crafts, face painting. It will be a great spectacle. Um, we're doing it very closely with our, our our local charity, Chuff, who are the Freeman Hospital's Children Heart Unit Fund. Um, so. One wonderful charity that we're trying to raise as much money for so so no please do come down if we can get you on a boat we absolutely will and if we can't i'm sure there's there's going to be plenty of things for the people to do oh it sounds amazing hopefully the weather's going to be all right if someone did want to take part is there any particular skills you would need like being able to swim and that sort of thing uh, no, we're hoping that swimming won't won't be necessary. But if uh, no life jackets will be provided. But um, but no, just just come and and just enjoy it. I think that's it. There's no skills required. This is uh, for anyone. Anyone can take part. Um, it's it's for all for all ages. And and no, there's, so there's no skills necessary. Just as long as you could come down to have a bit of fun and um, make loads of noise on the river and do something completely different. So if you're ready for that, then I'm sure you'll enjoy it. It'd be great just to go and take a load of pictures because it's going to look spectacular, isn't it? And you did mention um, you raised the money for Chuff. What made you choose that charity? Um, it's local. It's um, it, you know it's got some amazing stories, and obviously it's, it's just really important for us to be supporting a local charity. Um, actually, one of the, um, the the person presenting the prizes tomorrow is a lady called Kelly Davis and Ollie, who is actually. Um, the first surviving baby um, to have a heart transplant in 1987. So, so we're super pleased to have her. She's 35 now. Um, 35 now, the longest longest surviving recipient to ever have a transplant. Wow. So it, it's, it's little stories like that that will help, I guess, the day um, and and just show how important it is to the to us, but also the charity. Oh, so special, Anna. I need to ask you, Tarek, are you going to be getting into a boat yourself? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> I'm very much looking forward to it. I've been, I've been training for it for months. Um, well, I haven't actually at all, but no, I'll, uh, I'm very much looking forward to it. So, I know you don't um, want to say you've been training in case you don't win. No, no, I, I no, I can train as much as I, you know, I can train all year. I still won't win. I can guarantee you that. But uh, no, like I say, it's, it's just, it's, it's such a fun day. It's different. Every, anyone that comes down will enjoy it, absolutely, because, like I say, it's, uh, there's, there's so much for people to do, but it's just something different, and dragon boat racing on the, you know, on Newcastle's quayside, what, what's there not to enjoy? Oh, of course, and right, so time-wise, we know it's at the quayside. Uh, what time should we be getting there if we want to kind of catch the best of it? So I, I would say, I mean, races start at 10 o'clock. 
And what we've got is we've got the Northeast Chinese Association who are doing a lion dance at, you know, 10, 10 30 in the morning. So I'd encourage people to get down as early as possible. It's a long day. We're, we're expecting races to finish about 3 30, 4 o'clock. Um, but get down as early as you can, make the most of the free activities that are happening, you know, take part in and take part in as much as in much as you can and, and as much as you want. But um no, ten o'clock it all kicks off. So so please, please get down as, as soon as you can. Oh, that's absolutely perfect. Because I'm, I'm doing my show till 10 o'clock and I was walking to town and I walked down the quayside. So I will be there cheering everyone on because it's just, like you said, it's something different. I've, I don't believe I've ever seen anything like that, particularly not on the Tyne. So it's brilliant to get everyone down there. But thank you so much for coming on. It sounds no. great fun. I hope this is just the start of it doing every year, maybe. <laughs> Well, this is the third year, so there'll, there'll be one next year, and there'll be we're expected to be an annual event and part of our events calendar now. So, so no, definitely come down, and take part tomorrow, and if and if you're down, please please uh, please say hello, and we'll, we'll we'll get you on a dragon boat. Yes, oh, I love that. You, you don't have to ask me twice, seriously. Now I know you don't have to be able to swim. <laughs> I'm all right because I can't <laughs> swim. <laughs> oh, well, better look for tomorrow. Sounds absolutely amazing, that doesn't it? So, dragon boat on the Tyne. You can even get yourself involved. You're feeling brave. Or you can just go down. Like I'll be honest, I, I would stand by a boat, but I'm not sure. I'd, I'd feel safe. I'd be terrible, me. I think I'd be a little bit scared. But I will go and cheer it on. We've got the latest news on the way after this.